Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, March 3rd. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to your top stories, your forecast is first with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. How are things on this Tuesday? Well, Chris, we'll have those scattered off and on showers as we go through our day today. Unlike yesterday when they held off until later on, today they'll be coming late this morning and right through this afternoon. So by that lunch shower out towards central Pennsylvania, good batch of showers moving through, and then that just continues off and on right through the middle of the day. Then we'll get closer to this evening. A cold front gets ready to come through, and when that happens, there'll be another line of showers that develops and keeps moving off to the east, but I wouldn't even rule out a nice thunderstorm with some of that. So something that's not completely out of the cards for late today. During the day itself, just some scattered showers. It's cloudy and mild. Otherwise, we're topping off in the mid 50s. Tonight, the temperature drops to the 30s as the cooler air comes back in. 48 windy tomorrow, a stray rain or snow shower, then plenty of sunshine for Thursday, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. Students and parents from Northeast Intermediate School are saying they feel neglected. For the first time, the public is seeing pictures of the HVAC systems within the school. One of them is more than 110 years old. Northeast Intermediate was shut down back in January after lead and asbestos were detected in the building. Last night, the board was told that it's now safe for students to collect their belongings from their lockers. The new HVAC systems will cost more than $250,000. If money wasn't an issue, the environmental representative feels the kids could be back in Northeast Intermediate in a few weeks. The man accused of walking into a Monroe County Municipal Building and shooting and killing an employee has pleaded guilty. In November of 2018, David Green walked into the Paradise Township Municipal Building and fatally shot 65-year-old Michael Trippis. He pleaded guilty but mentally ill to third-degree murder. Green is expected to be sentenced in May. To follow your top stories throughout the day, you can do that over at PAHomepage.com.